So we've uh, done the county, we set that up and we've got the time saved. Now we wanna make sure that the proper weather station is programmed in there. So what you're gonna do then is by hitting menu, it's gonna ask you, what do you wanna do? We already set the time, we've done that. We don't wanna set an alarm. We already set the language of English. We set the location. Now we don't wanna do type yet or test. We wanna hit set channel. So when you hit select, when you turn this on initially, it's going to be on channel four. If that is not the correct channel for your county, which you can find on the list that we have a link to on this page, you can change it to number three, which changes it down a couple. But for Adams County, 162475 is the correct number. Select that by then when you hit menu that is save that and then it'll always be saved in there you'll never have to reprogram this unless you move doesn't matter if the batteries are out doesn't matter if the power goes out that programming will always stay in there unless someone changes it so you've got it set up it's ready to go the only thing left to do is to test it by pulling up your antenna and hitting this weather snooze bar And if you were in a normal building, not like this studio, you'd be able to hear the weather radio. Now that you have it programmed for your county, you're never going to have to unprogram it. It'll always stay programmed. In the next video that you can click on, we'll talk about how to get rid of some alarms and alerts that you may not want to receive. For instance, if you live uh, on top of a hill and the flash flood warnings come out, you may not want to receive those at 2 a.m. The next video will show you how to delete certain warnings and advisories.